In this video, you'll learn the main tools of animation and make a simple knee kick animation. Also, we'll adjust the interface to be suitable for animation. It's time to animate. So first, we should adjust the interface. Here we have the timeline. Let's move the timeline down. You can hover over this to see what this window is called. So move it down. At the bottom left corner, drag up to create a new window. Change the window type to dope sheet, which is under animation. After that, click on the word dope sheet. Action editor. The dope sheet has multiple sections in it. One of them is called the action editor. We will only use the action editor and dope sheet sections. Pick action editor and move it down. Drag a window up, set it to dope sheet. Top is dope sheet, middle is action editor, bottom is timeline. In timeline, click on playback. Change the first option to frame dropping. This will ensure that the playback speed is the same, regardless of playback frame rate. This is really important as you might discover your animation is playing way faster than you thought. Here you have auto keying, turn it on. Here are the actions aka animations. If you want to do walk cycle, you'll have to create an action for it. For a jumping animation, you'll create an action. If flying, then a flying action. Now create an action for a kick. And we will make a shitty one. Name it kick. Enable the shield aka fake user. This will make sure the animation is saved even if it's not in use. Start at frame 1. Now enable only show selected. Close this panel with N and click on this to make sure it's opened. If it was closed like this, click on the small arrow to open it. Go to pose mode for the rig. To add a keyframe. Select all bones with A, I, location rotation. The selected bones with keyframes will show here. If I select the IK, it's there. Same for the pole. Now we will make the kick animation. So move it 20 frames and make sure we're doing 30 frames per second here. Go to output properties here. Under frame rate, set it to 30, which is used by games. You can use 60, but animating on 30 is easier. Also, you could double it in the engine. 24 is used for movies. Now let's start animating. Move the IK bone up. By the way, you don't have to follow along. We'll move it like this. Notice that the keyframes were added because of auto keying. Something like this. The first frame of the animation. You know, instead of a kick, we'll change it to a knee kick. We'll change the name accordingly. Move a few frames. Move it here. The animation is slow, so I brought the frames closer. At frame 30, create the final kick pose. Something like this. Okay, it's starting to come together. Now we're talking. The foot is getting too close here, so I'll move it out of it. At frame 25, select the frame and press R to change its color. This makes it easier to tell which is which. The main keyframes will have a certain color, the ones in between will have a different color. We'll fix this pose a little, rotate it, change it to breakdown. The kick feels weak. So I'll go to frame 20, select the frames after and scale down. Press S. I move them back by one frame. Better, but I'll go again to frame 20. The reason why I go to frame 20 when scaling is that the pointer acts as the pivot point. If I move to 50 and scale down, frame 50 will be the pivot point. Go back to 20 and scale down to move them closer. Okay. Let's see the whole animation from frame 1 to frame 31. So set the end frame to 31.
Okay, that's pretty decent. Not professional, but it's something. Maybe at frame 40, I want the foot to move down like the start. Duplicate the first frame with Shift D, then move it to frame 40. Or you could select it and Ctrl C to copy, then go to frame 40 and Ctrl V. A third way is to copy the pose with Ctrl C. So I meant take the pose of the first frame and paste it with Ctrl V at frame 40. I have a small issue here. I want to hold the pose a little after the kick. Shift D the keyframe and move it far. Move this a bit. We'll move the holding pose slightly, which will add some variation. Don't like the foot here. Or maybe like this. Looks strong, so we'll move it back. Yeah, looks better. Anyways, I think you get the point. We'll turn it into a loop. To do so, since the first and last frames are the same, I'll set the end frame to 45. The first and last frames will work together now, which creates an annoying duplicate frame. So in the animation, one frame less at frame 44. As you can see, it looks wrong, so now set the end frame to 44, because we didn't do that. A lot better. Maybe you can't notice it because of this type of animation, but it's noticeable with something like a walk cycle. And that's it.